Coming here from Australia is completely different. It's not that far away, so I can see why people come for vacation to Vanuatu. I've been to a lot of markets around the world, and usually you have people pushing a product on you, or as soon as you look at a certain thing, then they try to sell that to you and they'll follow you around. But here, there wasn't that at all. It was, you know, here's my product, or here's my good, and if you like it, let me know, and that's about it. Thank you. Good for a snack. Is that what, like a what do you think that is? I don't recognize this thing. Even the bananas I almost don't recognize. I've been looking forever for a big beach bag, and this looks absolutely perfect. I'm gonna need to borrow some cash. <laughs> so count out 400. <laughs> it's so funny counting money, you just don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, you definitely need to have cash in Tana. There's no bank machines. The, you're not using your visa or your credit card, nothing like that. This is Lap Lap. It, and it's called that because that's where it most ends up when you're eating it. It's just, it's, it's kind of, it's gonna eat stuff. Basically, they make it in the ground with manioc or banana and coconut, and then they find the meat and they put it in the side and they fold it up in these leaves. You see these big, uh, these banana leaves. The meat and we want them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be anything from, uh, from beef to a dog to a, you know. Uh -huh. Beautiful to watch them make lap lap. Yeah. It really is. And it is a staple and it's really it is really good. Ah, there's the animal inside. Yeah. Mmm. There you go. It's awesome. It's really good. You didn't eat any of the meat. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a petal heat. Well, guess what this is? Rope? No. Nah. Take a whiff of it, see what you think. Tobacco. Oh. Very good. This is tobacco that they dry. That's rope incredible. Rope. You know something? They take it like this and they wrap it up in banana leaf and smoke it. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that neat? This is the man's thing on Vanuatu and Tana. This is kava. This is the root of the most potent kava in the world. I've tried it. I have tried it and I didn't think it was going to bother me. I couldn't believe it. Tore the enamel off my teeth. My face went numb. Went to stand up, fell flat on my face. Wow. So this stuff is good. Palmer is Dave's son, and Eddie is one of Palmer's childhood friends. He was here 17 years ago when he was just a boy, and Eddie was the guy that he really gravitated towards and hung out with and did just everything local with. This isn't the only Cava bar here. This is uh, one of many. Just for me. And this is not the traditional way of doing things. It's not custom. When men are drinking kaffa, you are not allowed, especially girls or women, they are not allowed to go inside. And it's uh, performed at a nakama, what they call a meeting of men. Such a culture, culture, so we must respect. Boys chew it up and the men drink it and uh, run it through a cloth. And yeah, it's pretty gross how, how it all works out. <laughs> Thanks for taking me here. I want oh, to get that experience, right? You bet. That's fish for you. You're going to have to explain to me what we do here. So, yeah, just when you take it, you have to sh shoot the whole thing. So, okay. drink the whole thing, and uh, and that's the way it's done, yeah? Okay. The cab itself, it gives your lips and your tongue a real numbing feeling, kind of like after you've left for the dentist after you've had a cavity or something like that. Other than that, the symptom is like a real relaxed feeling that just kind of comes over your body and people aren't addicted to cava. They do it socially, they come and do it at night. It's a real cultural thing for them. Well, the custom thing to do here, I noticed there was a big chief who just walked in and uh, uh, the custom thing to do is offer him one. Why don't we go see sure. if he wants a shell? Okay, let's yeah. do that. Chief, meet to fellow, want him, ask, suppose you want him shell locava. Okay. Yeah, you good. Oh, thank good. you too much. All right, yeah. I'll grab you one. How you feeling? Good, good, man. Okay, thank you. But I'm glad Palmer and Eddie took me here. It's a great experience. All the local guys do it, so I thought I'd try it too. Bonjour. It's me, Montreal. I forgot what freezing cold feels like. The more French food you eat, the better your French vocabulary becomes, I promise. So, bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.